Hello, this is Susan Sanonamaker with SunIsTheFuture.net. Here we have a Canadian team and uh, we're fortunate enough to get the University of Calgary with us for a few minutes. So please tell us, uh, first of all, your name and your team and your part. Uh, my name is Christy Goss and I'm from the University of Calgary Solar Team. Um, on this role I was the race logistics manager, so just kind of dealing with um, all the logistics of getting the car to Australia um, along the race route and all that kind of stuff. So how was the route? Was it rough with all the bushfire we've been hearing about? Yeah, so we weren't expecting bushfires obviously, so smoky, the skies were smoky and we had some pretty bad weather near the end too with um, some rain and lightning storms. So it did throw a little bit of a wrench along the way, but um, the beginning of the race went really well actually. We completed the whole first half uh, completely on solar power without any trailering, so that was really exciting. Very good, very yeah. good. Oh. How many years have the uh, University of Calgary been involved with the uh, solar car race? Um, the University of Calgary solar team started in 2004 and that was actually because the American Solar Challenge was announced that it was going to be ending in Calgary. So the university said we have to get in there, like we have to put our best foot forward and ever since then the project's been growing. We have a lot larger of a team. There's about 40 students involved at the university. That's a big team. Yeah. Yeah, so in both business, um, engineering, and all interfaculty, so. Yes, yeah, so we've discovered this is very much of a collaborative effort. Yes, it is. It's really interesting to see um, students from all over the university come together for like this kind of project when usually you're kind of seg segregated into faculty. And on this particular race, you actually have uh, gotten to know the other uh, Canadian team also pretty well. Yeah, um, actually something that we tried to initiate uh, at the end of the summer right before we came down to Australia was kind of like a Canadian alliance where um, all the Canadian solar teams can kind of share information um, to help us with general logistics and hopefully in the future with kind of design ideas and stuff like that. So when we all got here it was really nice to see everyone in person and um, we've all kind of gotten a really good relationship so we're looking forward to kind of seeing all the teams tonight at our awards ceremony and getting some good Canadian pictures. And oh that kind of stuff. wonderful. What have you learned? What's the most memorable experience and what have you learned from this uh, World Solar Challenge? Um, I think that the most memorable thing is just really um, how innovative you can be. Like there are so many other teams who give so many great ideas and it's fun for everyone to be here and share those ideas and um, really advancing solar technology because that's really what this is all about. We really want to um, get a good understanding of how we can make it more realistic for a like, community in general. Yeah. Well, pretty soon uh, yeah. we will be seeing these solar cars on the road, yeah, and uh, and and you have been taking part in making this happening, yeah. and really appreciate this. Yeah, well, it's an honor. It's a fun project to be a part of. Great. Yeah. And thank you very much. Thank and you. signing off, Susan Sun on a Maker with SunIsTheFuture.net, in front of the uh, University of Calgary's team. Thank you.